2014, paper 1, question 17, we are told a line passes through points minus 2, 3, and minus 1, 6, and perpendicular to the line P at minus 1, 6, find the equation of L. So, this is our A. Uh, equation of L, first of all, we calculate the gradient. So, gradient of L is equals to, uh, we say it is uh, 6 minus, mi minus 3 divided by minus 1. Uh, minus minus 2, that changes to positive. So, we have positive 2 is equals to 3 divided by 1, which is equals to 3. So, that is the gradient. Uh, the moment you get the gradient, then you can find the equation. So, we use one of the points. Let's use uh, minus 2, 3. So, we say y minus 3 divided by x minus minus 2, that becomes positive, is equals to 3. So, you cross multiply y minus 3 is equals to 3x plus 6. Take take uh, 3 minus 3 to the other side becomes positive. y is equals to 3x uh, plus 9. So, that is the equation of L1. Uh, we come to part B. Uh, let's start to be part A. So, this is part B. Uh, find the equation of P in the form of uh, AX plus BY is equal to C, where A, B, and C are constant. So, because this line, up, this line P is perpendicular to line L, its gradient is equal to minus a third. Because when you multiply minus a third times 3, you get minus 1. Uh, so, to get the equation, we are going to use this point. So you say y minus 6 divided by x minus minus 1, that becomes positive, uh, is equals to minus a third. Uh, so once you get there, then you can cross multiply, you get y is equals to uh, minus a third, and then uh, plus, uh, you get uh, minus a third plus minus a third plus 17 over 3 17 over 3 uh, so over 3 you can multiply by 3 so you get 3y so here you have x then we can have x on the other side so our equation will be x uh, plus 3y is equals to 17 so that's how you do that uh, so that is part B. We go to part C. Uh, part C, uh, we say, we are told, given that another line Q is parallel to L and passes through 1 to find the X and Y intercept. So, we, if it is parallel, then it means gradient is equals to 3. Uh, so, we can... Uh, so, if it is parallel, then we, the, the gradient is the same. So, the gradient of Q is equals to uh, 3. Uh, so, we can get the equation. So, we use this point 1, 2. So, we say y minus 2 divided by x minus uh, 1 is equals to 3. When you cross multiply that, you get uh, y is equals to so this will be 3x uh, 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 minus 3 and then we take 2 to the other side so it will be 3 minus 1 uh, so once you get the equation uh, then you can uh, be able to say uh, x intercept that is when x uh, x is 0 so x is equals to 0 it means y is equals to uh, minus 1 that is the y intercept when y is equals to zero uh, it means that uh, uh, zero is equals to three x minus one uh, meaning that x is equals to uh, one of 
So that means x intercept is uh, that and y intercept is minus uh, 1. So from there, we go to part D of the question uh, where we are told find the point of intersection of P and Q. The, Q, the equation of line P, uh, we have our line P is x <coughs> plus 3y is equal to 17. Then we have the equation of our Q, uh, which we have here. It is uh, y is equal to 3x minus 1. So we, since the point of intersection, x, the value of x and y are equal, we can now substitute our y in the first one that is we write x plus 3 instead of y we write now 3x minus 1 is equals to 17 so when you simplify this now that you have one unknown you find that uh, this is x uh, plus 9x uh, minus 3 is equals to 17 you simplify and you find your x is equals to, to 2. When x is equals to 2, you can now substitute here. So you multiply y is equals to 3 times 2, that is 6 minus 1. So y is equals to 5. So the point of intersection of P and Q is actually uh, 2 and 5. So that's how you work out that question. Uh, and I hope you have uh, followed how we have gone all about it.